if you look at the union there. Um, now you can see that union is in the upright position. Okay, it's starting to weep a bit, which isn't a very good sign. Um, sometimes it means the union might need replacing if they start leaking, which means still means you have to drain it down. But nevertheless, I'm going to take it off uh, and show you this way to change it over. So the next thing is, is to uh, get this nut loose now. It's no point, these nuts, trying to undo them with a spanner. Just putting a spanner on and hoping it will undo. It's very unlikely because they're usually seized on with the heat. The heat makes them stick and they need a, a shock to undo them. So it, it's never just a case of putting a spanner on there and hoping that that's going to do it because it won't. The only way is going to be with what I use and a lot of people will go, woo, a hammer and chisel. Okay, sounds mad, but the shock will undo the nuts. So that's what I'm going to show you next. Because I guarantee you, the only way you will undo these nuts is by giving them a clout. Um, this nut goes up that way, so you've got to clout it back that way. Tap. Bash. There you go. Now loose that should become. By giving that a simple tap, you can now see that that union is loose. It can be undone easily. That's just one of my little tricks. It sounds mad hitting a thing with a hammer and chisel, but and it does mark score the out of the nut, but it doesn't matter. You won't break that nut. Um, just give it the knock and it will come out. And it is the easiest way I've found over the last 40 odd years uh, of renewing the pump by getting these unions out. The easiest possible way is, is to give them a knock. Okay, we're, um, we're at the point where the pump nuts are loose now. I resorted to a slightly sharper, smaller chisel to knock that nut round. Um, it went fairly easily in the end. Got a few knocks and it was gone round. So we've got both nuts loose now. There'll be a bit of water in here. Um, this is unavoidable. It's what's laying in the pump. We'll just connect the pump now. Take it off. Close it on the side. And close the other. And there we have him. There's our pump. Um, take a note of what direction he's pumping in. As you can see, the air out is pointing in that direction, and that's that's the way it's got to be refitted. So there's our pump out. This pump doesn't look too old or bad, but it's actually running very slow. Um, as you can see, there'll be some old washers on here. There's one of them there. Take those off. There's one. And the other one's stuck on the end of the pump. As you can see, it's still there. Look, there's the old one. We want that. Um, and we're ready now to get the pump out and uh, fit the new one. Okay, so we're, we're getting ready to fit our new pump now. This is it. A brand new DAB pump. I usually fit Grumfoss to be honest, but I uh, didn't have one in stock at the time. And I had to wait a couple of days, so I decided I'll try this DAB pump out. It's got a two-year guarantee, so we're good to go. Now, I personally prefer to wire up before. Uh, installation but it's always harder when it's installed I find to get it wired up so I, I generally tend to wire it up first. Um, most pumps these days are this type of arrangement where you pull the lever back and insert the wire. See that? Pull the lever back, push the wire. Used to be a time used to be screws and you screwed it down which I did prefer to be honest but modern times things change. Um, also on the side you'll have this side grommet for the wire which consists of this part a nut and a thread okay and a pulley cone so basically we slide <coughs> excuse me the nut over followed by our inserted piece uh, the wires go through there um, it was a bit tight for these grommets um, now we've literally just got to insert them in the right sockets here. You can see that that one is the earth, that one's got the end for neutral, and that one's the end for live. So we literally just ping them back and push them in. There we are, they're all in. Okay, so now yeah, we're ready. That now slides in its little socket there. OK, 
Okay, push that back in. Push the wires down in situ. Okay. And we should be ready for that cover on. Okay. That's how it should look before the cover goes on. Okay, so then we'll get our cover. We'll put it on. it's wide ready when it does go back on those unions it's ready for go put him back down now the hardest part now if you like this is the part where we fit the pump back in make sure we've got the right direction on the arrow same as the one you took out don't have it reverse pumping it will never work okay we've got to get this washer on I tend to pull this nut forward and slide the washer on there with the nut holding that ring on so we'll get him right. now wash is now sat inside that union there so that we're going to get that nut on first just concentrate on one at a time don't try and get them both okay push it over and there we are we've got our first one on leave it loose um, while we get the second one there it is got it started it's fiddly as hell Believe me, getting it started. But I've had this pipe in the way, so I have an extra excuse. Um, I'm being right-handed, it's a bit tough getting that nut done. Well, it would have been even worse if I'd been left-handed, <laughs> get about it. Um, so probably had the best deal there. Okay, you see, it's left, that was a gap here to get this washer in um, for the second one. I'll get him in now. I have the pump connected now. Now, one of the last things to do assuming you didn't have a leak like I've got um, is just to vent the top of the pump now because you, you put a new pump in uh, there's a little screw on the top which allows you to get the air out you just unscrew that and bleed it and let the air out a lot of people do it with the pump on when it comes out as well then just to let it out just let that air out there and then screw it back down okay and basically that's your job finished. I hope it's been of some help to you and I'll see you next time.